Your latest film is about women empowerment. I know that's something that you're very, very strongly about. What is the name of the film? And if you can tell us a story about, you know, the... Well, thank you. This is uh, one of some, something I'm really, really excited about. Uh, my film is called Sulige Sikidaga, and the tagline is Be Fluid as Water. And uh, Sulige Sikidaga means caught in the whirlpool. Wow. And it's not an action film. Like you said, it's a woman empowerment film. But the caught in the whirlpool means caught in the whirlpool of life. Taking you down, swirling down towards destruction. You know, how circumstances of life, especially for women in so many situations across the world, um, just spiral them out of control. You know, uh, they can't, they don't have control over so many things. And that always breaks my heart, you know, because, uh, uh, because me being a woman, first of all, I'm all for humanity and human improvement and human potential and um, getting rid of human suffering, but especially women, because um, it has come to that. It has come to the point where we really, as women, need to stand together for each other. Every single woman needs to support every other single woman across the planet, you know. Their, their, their education, their safety, their, uh, their home situations, you know, what happens within homes for women. Um, they don't have a voice many times. And when they get that voice out, there is pandemonium. Instead of support, there is pandemonium. So, I am all for woman empowerment. And uh, our, this film is, uh, has got four components. Um, it is about a young woman in India. I will not tell the story yet, but I will give the, the components of it. Because um, as I said, I always, the House of Pandit Productions, I want to have a, an awareness built into it, apart from the entertaining story. So this one's also directed by Sandeep Malani in India. But because I'm a Tucson-based person now, I, was, I also wanted to start getting films made in Tucson. So this film, for the first time in our production, about 15% of it is filmed in Tucson. So we have a Tucson director as well. Uh, Scott Barker is his name. So we have uh, an Indian director and the US director. So uh, somehow this new film, the, the medical awareness uh, cause that came into my my consciousness, which I wanted to put across, is grand mal epilepsy. You know, um, such a common thing that we see in the hospital all the time, in the emergency room, we see it all the time. And we, as doctors, it is easy for us to treat it. You know, we we can treat the condition, we can give them advice, we can give them follow up. But I also see the strong across the world. There is a stigma attached to grand mal epilepsy in so many areas of the world. You know, if it appears you you, you see a person having a, a grand mal attack in public, it, it it makes people afraid. It makes people stare. It makes people react in in weird ways. You know. So I wanted to bring that important topic into uh, awareness. So Sulige Sikidaga, that is the first component. I have brought the awareness of grand mal epilepsy into the film and as an actor as a glamorous actor I, I mean I'm pretty much I don't know if it's fortunate or unfortunate but my popularity is a lot to do with the glamorous aspect of me whereas when I think about myself I I don't think of me as that that glamorous person at all I mean for me I'm just that that human that thinking human who wants to keep doing to keep creating so I'm it will give the audience a shock to see my acting in that because obviously I play the protagonist in that film. And I have seen, according to my life expect, uh, experiences, I have portrayed that character with the grand mal epilepsy. And I know it will shock people uh, because they will not expect to see that glamorous me with that vulnerable condition in public, you know. So that uh, that is the first component. Second component is we have uh, brought in uh, a split screen technology. You know, it has been done before, of course, but we have tried to do something very interesting where same woman, same time frame in life, 
if the reaction to the same condition is different by the people around her how will her life be different you know that is that is something which i was really wanting to to pull off and i think we have pulled it off brilliantly so that will show people okay a reaction like this by society what happens to the woman down the road a reaction simple change of attitude mindset change of mindset people around how life can take it differently you know so that is a second component um third one is we have brought in the hope angle and i all like i i all i already told you my films always have to have hope you know i do not like to end it with the sadness and the 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 plight because we see we see it all the time you know i have to give something which says that okay how do we counter this how do we how do we get one step better than what what it is already so the hope angle and that hope angle is where uh, i have brought in something which i have always wanted to learn martial arts uh, ever since i was a child but that one option i it did not uh, somehow it did not come into my life because you know uh, this the, the just the way i i i was my education my art artistic background and all i didn't have time i didn't have access to martial arts at that time to learn so it never was part of my life so i brought that in i practiced and we have pulled off an excellent i think i think it's an excellent martial arts fight scene there and my complete inspiration was bruce lee because i i have always been a great admirer great admirer not only of his work but of his life philosophies because the more you you research him and you see his uh, his uh, interviews and his writings you see that his entire martial art is based on the protection of humanity and the enhancement of humanity he always talks about that he talks about it as a principle which enhances life not destruction of life so even all that violence in the the films and then you see the the his philosophy behind it is always self defense protection your your martial art. and that that factor we have brought in and not only that we've also had we have shown martial arts and how the story ends with hope i won't tell the whole story but that other component is there and uh, and uh, in fact uh, this year is his uh, 75th birth anniversary incidentally i did not know this while i was making the film so i was very happy because i had the chance to actually go to the 75th uh, birth anniversary celebrations in las vegas Oh. a month ago and meet the family of bruce lee oh wow so it was a it was a beautiful moment and they i heard them talking on stage and the anecdotes of his uh, life and uh, things that i didn't know because i i i only know from media other previous media so now i was i had the opportunity to meet and interact with them and uh, it was a, a i felt it was a, a blessed moment for me so the character that you play in the yes. new film how is she similar to bruce lee and his philosophies uh the initial character is not because i'm showing that the how the spiral goes downwards but how she comes out of it the the like i said the the split character the split technology where the positivity is happening how she comes out of it is where the martial arts angle comes in and that martial arts angle is is inspired by bruce lee's principles and how she learns how the discipline happens and how the final climax happens in tucson so that is that is what is inspired hmm. so it's a shift in her mind and her physicality yes not yes n- not only in her mind uh, it is also the interesting part is i've shown how social situations how people react to her can change her mindset you know what i mean most many times in women disempowerment scenarios or in women suffering scenarios the reason she is suffering is because of the attitudes of the people around her how they are seeing what she does as negative or repressive or how they try to suppress her right i mean it's the reactions or how physically dangerous the situation can be because of the people around her how they look at women right as an object so many times it's the people around her if that attitude changes her life can change basically so that component is what we have tried to bring in also by saying it's not just her strength and her mindset people's attitudes need to change 
the entire collective mindset has to change. How man thinks about woman, how a previous generation woman thinks about this generation's woman. In other words, we need to support each other as women, you know. So that angle I brought about. So yeah, these, uh, these are the essential components and uh, I'm very excited. And I would love for all the Film Courage viewers to watch this interview, to uh, watch the film and love it and support it. Um, and let's take it all forward because our, the team that has created it is again given their heart, mind and soul to the film. And uh, both, both in India and in Tucson. And uh, uh, directed by Sandeep Malani, Scott Barker, produced by House of Pandit and uh, all the other actors, cast and crew. So your support would mean a lot. The world's support would mean a lot. So we can continue creating films which um, bring awareness. We, we start benefiting uh, causes worldwide. That's my goal also, obviously. With, with, as we grow bigger, I want to have screenings which benefit those causes. That's, that's definitely one of my main goals because as you know, financial support is one of the biggest things that we need also for all these causes. It makes a huge difference. So it is a commercial film. This is not something which I would say is a pub public service film. It's a commercial film. But with that commercial film, with, with audience uh, support, we can take it to great levels. So that's what I'm planning to do. Thank you so much, Karen, for oh. the wonderful time given to me. <laughs> and I, I, I'm very thankful that we can put out these ideas to the world and uh, have all the audiences love it. Thank so, you. Thank you so much.